my friend Boo. Welcome to Five Minutes with Dan, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Hey everybody, this is Nick Pavlidis, and thank you so much for being here for another episode of Five Minutes with Dad. Five Minutes is Angela and Dad, because Pavlos is going to watch a show, and then we're going to read a book. I don't know if Pavlos going to come, but we are going to read... That's a Jake and the Neverland Pirates book. Okay, so it's called... March to Croc, we're going to read, but I don't know if Paolo's going to read it with us. That's right. This is the podcast where you get to listen in on a little father-son or daddy-daughter time. Today, it's daddy-daughter time with me, my seven-year-old son, Pavlos, or my five-year-old daughter, Angela! Yes! Before we start today's episode, I want to thank our sponsor, David Dollar at Disney on a dollar. If you go to 5minutewithdad.com slash Disney, he can help you plan the best Disney vacation and save you money because he gets paid by the booking. It won't cost you a thing. He knows all the tips and tricks on how to plan the best Disney vacation. So before you plan a trip to Disney, go to 5minutewithdad.com slash Disney. All right. Slash.com too. Yeah. All right. So, Ange, do you want to tell everyone about the resource of the week? It's, what is it called again? It's a book called Amelia Bedelia. And it is a cute little book about Amelia Bedelia, a hardworking, charming housekeeper who does exactly what the Rogers family asks her to. So, when she's told to draw the drapes... Amelia Bedelia gets out a pad and pencil and draws the drapes. When Miss Rogers asks her to dress the chicken, the family dinner. And it has a grandma. Yes. When they ask her to dress the chicken, the family dinner winds up wearing overalls and socks. It is a funny book that Pavlos and Angela can't pronounce the name of, but they love the name, right? Grandpa has a bow and the grandma has a flower here. Yes. And a teacup. Yes, it's a fun book. It used to be one of those, it's for like ages like four to eight or so. Uh, That's exactly what it says, four to eight. But it's a fun book. It's a big book, not a thick book, not a ton of words, but it's a big book. So it's really cool to sit with. Out of it. Yes, it's got a, it's got, we have the hard copy version and it has a dust cover on it. So Angela loves taking the dust cover off of it. So if you want to get a copy of Amelia Bedelia for your kids at bedtime, go to five minutes with dad.com slash Amelia. That's A M E L I A. That's our affiliate link. Are you pronouncing it? Angie's learning how to read now, aren't you, Angie? Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, f- I wish I could read it to you. You will. You will because you got to keep doing what? Learning. Yes, and practicing, right? So go to five minutes with dad.com slash Amelia. All right, who wants to open the show? It's about a five second. Yes, but what what question do we ask at the beginning of every show? Who's what? He's ready for us in the pursuit of five minutes with dad. Okay, do you want to say that? He's ready for us in the pursuit of five minutes with dad. Me and dad. Me. All right. And it- Rainbow. And her dog named Me. Rainbow. Me. Rainbow. That's right. Okay, Ange, tell everybody what we're going to talk about today. A five senses. This this show this show is completely designed by Angela. She picked the resource of the week. She she decided she wants to talk about the five senses because we're she's learning about that in school, right? Yes. And the five senses are seeing, smelling, tasting, touching, and I think there's one more. Healing. Yes. Sight, seeing. Smell, smelling. Taste, tasting. Touch, touching. Or hearing. Those are the five senses? Yes. And there's a shoes. And, and you can touch with your shoes. You can actually. No, you can touch with your feet, actually. Yes, you can touch. So and touch is like feeling stuff, right? Feet on your furniture. What? Furniture. What about the furniture? You can't put your f- shoes on them. You can or you cannot? You cannot. That's right. You don't want... Oh, so Angela's still looking at... Like Amelia standing on the couch. Yes, the cover of Amelia Bedelia has a picture of 
uh, Amelia dancing on the couch with her shoes on. So that's why Angela said you can't do that, right? Yes. Yes. So tell everybody about the five senses. What did you learn about the five senses other than what they are? What are they useful for? See everything. Yes, to see everything. You see beautiful. What else do you see? Do you see beautiful colors? Yes. And like you can hear and there's like a little drum inside your ears. Yes. That you can hear. It helps you hear. Yeah. And what are your favorite things to hear? Um, like drums, we watch the show, two shows, actually, that one have the drum in it, and the guitar, and the other is about your ear. Yes, so there's an eardrum in your ear, and that helps you hear, and w- some of our favorite things, you know what, remember when, Angela, when you and I go for walks in the morning, what do I always say? Every walk, I say, guys, let's be quiet and listen to what? Everything. Yes, everything, the sounds of the morning. What do you hear? It- Birds chirping to sing a song. Yeah, they're chirping, they're singing a song. What else do you hear? We hear like little, some people talks. Yeah, we hear voices sometimes when people are walking. Do we hear wind blowing? Yes, I hear it at my school and I wrote it down of a picture. You drew a picture of that? Yeah, it's in my backpack, but it's in the middle of my backpack. Oh, we'll have to look at that. Okay, so we got sight. What are your favorite things to see? And Amelia Vidalia, in the in the first page you see is like all a lot of Amelia's. Yes, there are lots of pictures of Amelia. But so that's one thing you like to see. You like to see books, huh? Yes. What else do you like to see? I like to see friends. Yes. And dads and moms and brothers. Yes. And sisters. And don't forget Lila. <laughs> yes, don't forget your cousin Lila, right? You like to see her? Yes, and cousins you can see. And what about art? You like to see beautiful art? Yes, and sometimes I go to art, and this like I go to music and library today. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so we got sight. But the library is close to the, um, really close, a little close to the music and the art. And the art and the music are right next to each other. <laughs> These are the rooms at your school, right? Yes. Yes. So sometimes when and you're in the library. Uh, and there's a hundred, I think, at my school. A hundred people? No. A hundred what? A hundred classrooms. Oh, I my think. goodness. Maybe. No, but there's three, like one, two, three, like at the top floor, at the three, like in the middle, at the two, at the bottom, me and my friends and all the small people go, but not like the second persons that line up. Oh. Like the second person that's are bigger than the kindergarten. Yeah, the first graders, right? No. The second graders? No. Who? I think it's the third graders. Oh, I should have kept going, huh? I don't know if it's the third graders. But, but older kids. Yeah. Okay. So we have sight. But I think there are six or older <laughs> than six or oh, a so little. They, yeah. Well, think, how old is Pablo's? Seven. And what grade's he in? Um, second grade. Yeah. So if they're if they're six, they might be in first grade. If they're seven, they might be in second grade. So we got sight. Some of our favorite things to see. We have uh, hearing. Some of our favorite things to hear. Her, hear. We talked about. What about smell? Let's talk about smell. What are some of your favorite things to smell? I can smell like wind. Sometimes the, the fresh air smells nice, huh? And marshmallows. Marshmallows smell nice? What else? And sometimes you can smell soap that when your mom or dad or your sister or your brothers rinse. <laughs> when they rinse, yeah. And I can smell the bees in my room. Ro- uh, actually, my room. Yeah, your room smells, every room, uh, how about your sheets when mom just cleans them? Do they smell fresh? Yes, and like, you can smell, like, your, you can smell the other person's teeth when they blow into your nose. Yeah, their breath. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes it's stinky, huh? <laughs> yes. Yes, not all the things we smell are nice, are they? Yes. Okay, so we have some sight, and it's so, sight is so helpful for Seeing beautiful things, right? And we didn't do seeing. We just did seeing. That's why I said sight. You said you like to see your brother and your sister. Oh, and your friends. yeah. And don't forget Lila. And, and and we didn't do touching or hearing, I think. Yeah, we, we still have touching to do. No, we did hearing because we hear all the things in the morning. We did taste. So we got to do taste and touch, okay? So which one do you want to pick next? Um, Taste. 
All right. So what are some of your favorite you things You can to taste? taste marshmallows. Yeah, you like marshmallows. You can taste snacks. Yes, you like snacks. What else? Y- y- sometimes you can taste drinks. Yeah, you can taste and drinks. And the sour stuff and the sweet and the food. Yeah. And do you like healthy food? Yes. And you can taste grass. You can taste grass, but it's probably not a good idea, huh? Yes, because grass or dirt is not good. Right. And dirt, everything down the ground, ants grow on. Yes, ants grow on. All the things on the ground, right? Ants eat, too. Sometimes ants eat food on the ground. Like, or they can eat, like, sometimes I think they can eat grass. Maybe. I know they're down there. dirt. Yeah, they crawl around in there, right? Yes. I think they make holes so they can sleep in there because they they can't have to sleep to, like, put people. That's right. Okay, so and that... And Daddy Long Legs. Yes, some, Daddy I Long Legs spiders. I think has babies. Yes, they have lots of babies, right? Yes. And now let's do touching. All right. So we talked about... All, we talked about sight, we talked about hearing, we talked about smelling, we talked about tasting. The last sense, uh, the five senses all is, the yeah, all the face stuff we talked Except about. Except the heel and the, and the face. Yeah, we talked about everything from the neck up. We had only a checkup this, from the neck up, right? Only this, only this, and only this. That's right. You pointed to all the parts that see, smell, taste. Except your mustache, like that has a mustache. Ah, I got a little stubble, <laughs> huh, because I shaved this morning. I can see your mustache. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's talk <laughs> about you touch. can see mustache. Yes, you can see mustaches. And what about you touch? See everything. Tell us about touch. Furry stuff. Yeah. Like my purple pillow's furry. <laughs> yeah, she's got a furry purple pillow that I'm kneeling on right now because the the war uh, the floors are hard. And what else can you feel? What else feels really really nice? Cups. Cups cold with cold water in there. Yes. Yes, because they feel cool on your fingers. What about this? Did you? But do you, I'm going to ask you something. We're going to well, let's do a couple more things that you like to that are good touches, and then I'm going to tell you a couple I'm things about get your senses. It, so, you c- please can you wait? What are you going to go get? Um, an animal that's really fuzzy. Okay, go get an animal that's really fuzzy, and I'm going to tell everybody while Angela's running across the room to go get a fuzzy animal. I'm going to tell everybody that one of the things we're talking about is how touch and all of your senses are really, really good for being able to observe really beautiful things and hear nice things and taste good food and find out if something's yucky or something's yummy. But one of the really important things about your sense, uh, your five senses are that they also can give you warnings. Ange, did you hear that? You need to see, you need to smell, you need to hear, you need to taste. Well, yes, but some people uh, either get injured or are born without them, so they use their yeah. other senses, right? Yeah, they use their smell, they use their heel, and they sometimes can use them touch and the smell. That's right. If your eyes can't do it, they have to get a dog to help them. Yeah, they can get help. So, Angela, what... From what, a dog! Yes, dogs can help too. What I, what I want to tell you, though, is that... One second. What is that? Senses can also warn you when there's danger. Did you know that? Yes. Um, so tell everybody yeah, how, how can... You danger, but sometimes you can hear some people yelling. And if... Because if the one's pointing to it, help! Because... That's right. So you can see you things. If you fall in a hole, that's really danger. That's right. So we're going to talk... Let's talk about one quick thing from each of our senses that... One quick thing from each of our senses that are that are dangerous, okay? So that can tell us about danger, okay? For our eyes, one thing that our eyes can do to tell us danger, okay? Go ahead. Is what if a hole is you can fall in it if, it's, if it's really deep, you can fall in a cave and be trapped. That's right. If you see a hole or if you see a car coming, that's why we look both ways with our eyes, so that way we can see if cars are coming, right? Yeah, if you get, if you sometimes, if you get. If you're smash guy car, you can be dead. That's right. You can get really, really hurt. And you can, if, if, the, the, if there's dirty on the car, you can actually get sick. <laughs> yes. From the wheel. That's right. And stand up so I can get the microphone to you because it doesn't reach all the way over there. So, and what about your smell? Can you think of a way your smell can tell you that there's danger? Um, You can smell like, what? What about smoke? 
Yes, and fire. That's right, and it tells you that there might be a fire somewhere. And what? And you said hearing, you could hear people yelling for help, or if you hear something loud, go boom. Yes, you can see hats. Hats? See everything. Yeah, you can see hats. And then you what about your touch? You can see everything except your hair. <laughs> well, sometimes you can see your hair. I can't see mine because it's too short, right? Yeah, but it's black. Yes, so I can see it when I'm looking in the mirror. I'm making you, you hear one of your pieces here. Okay, so what about our taste? Can we tell if we? Can you tell me one way our taste can warn us that there's danger? You can sometimes fire will get on your tongue and and you will say help, and then you say I need a drink. <laughs> yeah, if you get something spicy in your mouth and you say I need a drink, that warns like you that you're burning. Hot out. sauce. Yes, but also you can taste something. If something doesn't taste right, if it tastes like it's yucky, then it might be spoiled, and that tells you don't eat it, right? Yeah. Sometimes and, you can smell a danger. Yeah. Like yeah. this. Like smoke and stuff, right? No, you can sometimes smell like... You can sometimes smell like if it's really... If it's really bad or... If yes, you can smell if food's yucky, right? If it's really spoiled, because if there's black stuff on everything that's really spoiled, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, can you could see, see that. It. Right. And then finally, let's do touch. Can you think of some way that your touch can warn hmm. you that there's danger? Hmm. Hmm. What if you're touching, if you go near a stove and it's I hot? I think I know. If people are sick? Yes, I can touch your forehead. And if it's hot, I can say, uh-oh, Angela's sick. We need to help her, right? Yes, or Pavlos. Or Pavlos, yep. So, Angela. Or mom or dad. Because then once dad is sick and the four mom was, and now mom was sick before the after dad was, but they're feeling better. That's right. All right, Angela, we just did awesome. Five senses, both all the good things they can do and the danger that they can warn us again. Who wants to say thank you for listening to Five Minutes with Dad? Oh, don't forget to check out the resource of the week, Amelia Bedelia at 5minuteswithdad.com slash Amelia. Slash Amelia goes to Adelia. 5minuteswithdad.com slash Amelia. And thanks again to David Dollar at Disney on a Dollar for sponsoring the show. If you want to get a better and cheaper vacation to Disney, it won't cost you a thing. Go to 5minuteswithdad.com slash Disney. One last thing, and for the longest ever episode of 5 Minutes with Dad. I think her last name is Amelia. No, that's her first name. Her last name is Bedelia. Bedelia Amelia. Bedelia. <laughs> Bedelia? <laughs> How about you just say bye-bye-bye? Bye-bye-bye-bye! Fast.com! <laughs> Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pavlos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com. <laughs>